Marcel? Is this on? I've had enough. I have finally had enough. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. The Go Home Show. You know what? I want to go home and yeah. just hide in my bed. Yes, I am never watch this shit again. Also going to go home. Confusing way to end Raw leading up to a big four pay-per-view. Yeah. Shitting on Rey Mysterio. Really? This is all we can do? Shitting on the Mysterios. Both of them. They're both out. Yeah. Like, screw you guys. I'm going to him. Imagine yeah. if you went to Raw. I don't know where they were this week, but yeah, imagine. wherever the fuck they were. You go to Raw, and that's your main event. Bobby Lashley versus Rey Mysterio. <laughs> wow. well, at least we got the ladder match. Yeah. 12 years in the making. Right. Like we went, we went to that yeah. wrong. We were like, yeah, that was pretty bad, but at least we had that ladder match. Yeah. yeah. These people got nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing. Oh, they got Adam Pierce. Oh, my God. They Is got he a worst? heel turn, Adam Pierce. Full Question heel. Mark? Yeah, like full heel now. I like your style. Yeah, and what? You he's, take fucking selfies. He's somehow worse as a heel. I know. It's, he's such a bad actor. Which is hard to do. Well, the thing is, before, as a face, he never had a character. He was just some guy that showed up. Yeah. Now that he's trying to be a character, you find out, oh, this guy's terrible at anything. I like how they were like, you know, we're not going to have any like evil heel authority anymore. <laughs> now yeah. we have two again. Yes. Sonya and Pierce. Both yep. heels. Yep, yep, yep. The original story was that Sony was going to take his job, but now they, they're both heels and they both hate random wrestlers for no reason. Zero and, reason. And they're still on both shows. I just assume they're both racist. Sony is racist against Naomi. Yeah. And Pierce is racist against Ray and Dominic. Hispanics, yeah. Makes yeah, sense, right? yeah. Makes I mean, sense. I think that's. I mean, that's how you get the most tea is be racist. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fucking easy, easy heat. Fucking racist. Yeah. It's like naming a city. It's just cheap heat. Cheap heat. Yeah, SmackDown wasn't any better. Um, no. But, you know, Survivor Series is this Sunday, so we got to do predictions. Mm -hmm. I got to defend my title. Yeah. I was Andy three belts. Now I'm Andy one belt. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I, yeah, I dropped the ball. What have you done? I dropped the ball. Big oh, my God. If, yeah. if you are a subscriber on Patreon, mm. patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling, then, uh, yeah, we never thought it could possibly happen. But yeah. Josh has two belts. Yeah. Joshy two belts. I almost had to make an executive. Top, top right? Top right. Yeah. <laughs> I almost had to make an executive decision and be like, you know what? It's not allowed. Yeah. Um, the bylaws. I'm awarding myself 10 more. I think that would have been enough. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I lost by a lot. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm definitely putting in a scorecard for uh, War Games. <laughs> yeah. Um, because yeah, yeah we, don't think we gotta do our best to well, end he's, that. He's never successfully defended a title, so I think we'll be all right. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, uh, we have to thank three new people who signed up. So thank you to Sean Dotery, Daughtry, Daughtry, yeah, Mike K, and Mr. Anderson. Mm. Oh. Mr. Anders. $5 a month gets you everything. We got the pay-per-view recaps like Survivor Series. Oh, what else? Uh, go check out the Full Gear recap. Oh, what else? That's out already. Countless brackets. What else? Movie recaps. What else? Cla All right. You have Classic to stop recaps. <laughs> All that good stuff. Go yeah, check yeah, it yeah. out. Weekly AEW and NXT recaps. Uh, Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to our other podcast, Hollywood Hogwash. Hogwash. Seven Seven episodes in now, available anywhere podcasts are heard. You can follow that show on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Hollywood Hog Pod. And uh, go check out the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Hollywood Hogwash Pod. Uh, we're going to be uh, putting up, a prop well, by the time you hear this or yeah. watch this, uh, our trailer reaction for Spider Man No Way Home. The second trailer will be out. Give it to me now. So we're going to watch that as soon as we're done recapping this show. Yeah. Should be interesting. Recapping Raw and SmackDown. Great, great, way, to, great way to end this show. Uh, I'm just going to guess right now we're going to about, about seven. Probably seven, I would think. Ugh. I think it's going to be like one. just you? Uh, well. And then they reveal <laughs> one thing that's big. Can't reveal all of it. No, well, well, I guess they can. They, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. Honestly. They show them the whole movie. Yeah. I'll just, I just, I'll, I, I assume I'll be busting many nuts. Yeah, I wore a diaper, so we'll see. 
Yeah. All right, so SmackDown opens with Sony Deville in the ring, along with Shotzi, Natalia, Shayna Baszler, and Aaliyah, who are all on Team SmackDown for the Women's Survivor Series match. Mm. For now. Uh, Sony says this Sunday we will be one week away from Survivor Series. That's great. Hmm. Okay. She's like, this Sunday will be one week away. There's only one week. So get ready for this Sunday when we'll be one week away. Yeah. I mean, we'll see you Sunday. next Friday. Right. But next Sunday. I think maybe maybe she meant to say next Sunday will be Survivor Series. Uh, but she know. started with this, so then she was like, oh, I better change it up. Right. Mm. So then Sony introduces the team captain. Oh, we have those? For the, yeah. It doesn't even matter. Like, wow. Matter. Okay. How is she the team captain? What does she do as the team captain? What are her responsibilities? Right. Her roles? Is she responsible for training? <laughs> training. Or, like or training training Aaliyah how to wrestle? Yeah. Or yes. making sure everyone has their SmackDown shirt. Yeah, that's Make right. sure the midriff is cut and off. And they're wearing it the entire match. Yeah. So right. Sasha Banks gets in the ring and immediately tries to go after Shotzi, not being a good captain. No. But uh, everyone holds her and Shotzi back. Then Naomi comes out to confront Sonya and Shayna, and then everyone starts brawling. So, did, of course... Did you feel it, Eric? Did you feel it? What? The what? The glow? When no. she came out? No. Yeah, me neither. Not so the much. The glow? I used Who to. are you? I used to. So, of course, a brawl with even number of people leads to a tag team match. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we got Sasha, Naomi, and Aaliyah versus... Shotzi, Shayna, and Natalia. Uh, Natalia. Thankfully, it was three heels and three baby faces. So we oh, knew. yeah. Like a real who, who yeah. are you? Well, so right. we just like who should be on which team. Yeah. Like for once, just fucking mix it up a little bit. Yeah, like sure. What, what does it matter that the, all faces and all heels are on the same, the same fucking side? Right. Survivor Series, we're having heel-heel matches, baby face, baby face matches. So True. who cares? Yeah. Anyways, Natalia put Aaliyah in the sharpshooter and grabbed the rope. Uh, but Naomi pulled Natalia's neck down on the rope. And then Aaliyah got her first win on SmackDown with a weird roll-up. Yeah. 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 Her finisher. Very yeah. shitty one. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, her finisher. Yeah. When, have we ever seen her, quote-unquote, finisher? Has, has she ever gotten a, a successful pin? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Uh, later backstage, Sony tells Aaliyah that she's off the Survivor Series team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you won your match. Yeah. Get the fuck out. And Aaliyah, cri Aaliyah cries. Yeah. Yeah. Sonya first says, how long have you known Naomi? As if, like, because Naomi helped her win, th they are tag partners in that match. Yeah. Sonya, you made that match. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Use your fucking head. <laughs> Use your she's fucking like, head. are you 100% uh, Caucasian or... Mm. Or is there a little uh, something else in, in your blood? <laughs> and Aaliyah's like, well, I think I might be a little bit. And she's like, all right, you're off the team. Get out. You're off the fucking team. Didn't you hear I'm racist? <laughs> uh, even later in the show, Mustafa Ali tries to console Aaliyah by being a dick. Yeah. He's like, hey, so you suck, huh? Man, <laughs> that sucks. Well, he was actually like trying to like get some. You want to suck like, my dick? He's and... like, hey, so you suck? Yeah. <laughs> I got something to suck. But then Ricochet walks up and he tells Aaliyah, hey, keep your head up. You did great tonight. And then Ricochet gets Aaliyah for the night, I guess. Right, right. And must have all these like, you motherfucker. Yeah. This is because I was in retribution, wasn't it? It, it was. It you was. guys see in the very... because I was a hacker. Do you you think the, I'm a computer nerd. You see in the very, very, very far background, Casey went like, what the fuck? And went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the details. Well, are they some even breaking together? news for you. They're not together anymore. Oh, well, that's too bad. He's with... They would have um, made really tiny people. <laughs> Ricochet is now with Samantha Irvin. The uh, she's like on NXT. She's like uh, one of the backstage reporters. Okay. Yeah, oh. I've seen her a few times. Yeah, good for her. Good I for guess her. good for him. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so then Eric told me about this right before the show. Apparently, yeah. Aaliyah was on Talking Smack. Oh, uh huh. Thing. And uh, all right, I, I have no idea what can this we, is. But can we put it on the Pisanotron? Uh, it's not even. Oh, right. It's okay. only fifteen seconds. Here we okay, go. but here we but go. You got to look at the video. Anyone that wants to doubt what I can do, while well, you haven't seen anything yet, and Miss Sonia Deville, you want to kick me off the team? Well, you've got another thing coming to you because what I'm about to show you, everyone and the WWE universe <gasps> is going to be in. 
incredible. What the fuck was that? It's on her hand? Is it on Kayla's it's, it's, chest? It's on her hand. They wrote the promo on Kayla's tits? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, my God. What was that? Hold on. I and it was I long- doubt what I can do while what? you haven't seen anything yet. And Miss Sonia DeVille, you want to kick me off the team? I think she's well, just got another nervous. Thing coming to you because what well, I know, it looks like she's looking right at something. And the WWE Universe is going to be incredible. What is happening? Incredible. She couldn't remember, I'm going to be better. Incredible. She couldn't remember that. Right. Where the hell could that... Is, like, is, is Kayla holding it with her right wait, hand? Wait, wait, there's something white on. What is that white? Like, what is right here? What's that? That's part of her like costume. Doubt what I can do That'd while you haven't seen anything yet. And Miss Sonia did yeah, really right. kick that me. Was, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, so hey guys, it, I, it's going to be. Two cards by the camera. Right. It's going to be incredible, just like this promo. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, you haven't seen anything yet. Half circle, look intense. Half circle. <laughs> <laughs> And she reads it like one r- long sentence, like a run-on sentence. Like, yeah. you don't read our notes like, No. Angel and Roberto now have a tag team named Los Lotharios, the definition of a right, Lothar, yeah. you yeah. know? Well, that's how I do when, for when we used to have the uh, cruiserweight matches. Oh, well, that's no, you just, you sped through them. <laughs> yeah, There's exactly. a difference. Yeah, good God, Aaliyah. All right, next up we have Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs versus Angel and Umberto. And just like Eric read, uh, their new tag team name is Los Lotharios. Uh-huh. And, Which means? Uh, the defi- I looked up the definition right. of a Lothario. Okay. A man who behaves selfishly and irresponsibly in his sexual relationships with women. Los whores? Yes. <laughs> Los the, uh, juggalos? An example is they are seduced by a handsome Lothario who gains control of their financial affairs. What? Also That's known their... as a lady killer. Oh wow, so God. they're douchebags. So Angel and Umberto marry cougars and then steal their money. Yeah. Probably, like, get them killed in the process. Right, watch out, Vicky. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Anyways, Angel and Umberto hit Nakamura with their new lame finisher for the win. Where they just, one goes up, one goes down. Up and down. Uh, they That's had it, a cool right? finisher that right. they used last week. Yeah. So. The drop kick while being in the submission? Yes. Fucking great. Right. It's pretty good. This Blech. is this one's not original. But yeah, they, Nakamura, when's the last time he's won a match? Every week he loses. Right, I know. And, and he's like champion? He's the champion. Yeah. 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 The yeah. champion. How, how are you intercontinental champion and you're in a tag team? Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Just Come tag on. team matches. Backstage, Sami Zayn's acting like he's talking to Team SmackDown and how he's going to lead them to victory. But he's just practicing in front of a mirror. Oh, is he the captain? Well, he thinks he is. Oh, okay. Uh, however, Jeff Hardy was watching without him knowing, and Hardy tells him your speech sucked. Fucking Later, creep. Sammy tells Adam Pierce to remove Jeff Hardy from the Survivor Series team. And Pierce tells Sammy, uh, we've been talking about making the team stronger. Uh, even though I totally fucking said I want Team Raw to win, but no, now I want Team right. SmackDown to win because I'm a flip-flopping douche. <laughs> <laughs> so, since I am a flip-flopping douche, you will face Jeff Hardy tonight, and the loser will be removed from the team. And Sammy's very upset, and he looks, you know, like he's going to do something about it. Right. But then he sees Adam Pierce's new bodyguard. Who are you? Mm. If you watch NXT, you know who it is. Yeah. But the announce team acted like they had no fucking idea who Von Wagner is. Right. It's uh, Kyle O'Reilly's boyfriend, right? It's Kyle O'Reilly's boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Lover. Sed- uh, seductor. And, and Pat McAfee's like, who is that guy? Is he seven feet tall? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. No idea who that guy is. And Cole's right. like, yeah, I don't know. Like, Pat- isn't the other brand supposed to be the third brand? It is. Do they act like the show doesn't exist? I, know. I don't it get doesn't. it. That's like acting like well, Raw doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, though, anymore. But they no. say, but then act like it's not then. Don't say, oh, and here he comes, the NXT champion, carrying Cross to the ring. They clearly know what NXT is. That was a few clearly. months ago. The, the canon has, is it's it's gone. gone. There's no more. There's no more canon. There's no more canon. <laughs> canon has been destroyed. The cannonballs are all empty, so <laughs> canon's gone. So, yeah, I guess Von Wagner's on... SmackDown now. Already called up. And only on SmackDown, because he wasn't on Raw to be Pierce's bodyguard. No. Mm. Only on SmackDown. Right, of course. And poor Kyle O'Reilly's like, well, 
What? What do I do now? Wait, my contract's up in December, right? Okay, well, Merry Christmas to me. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. He'll be with Bobby Fish and Adam Cole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe this Sunday he'll be with Pierce the whole show. Yeah. You know, because it's the one time a year. It's the one time a year where you get to be Pierce's bodyguard in a pay-per-view. On yeah. both yeah. brands. Yeah. Both brands. Uh, later in the show, Sammy loses to Jeff Hardy, oh. and then he watches his picture disappear from the Survivor <laughs> Series team graphic like right. Marty's siblings in Back to the Future. <laughs> Best moment? Uh, I, yeah. It was pretty It was pretty great. It, it made me laugh. He was like, no! No! And his photo disappears. <laughs> Jeff Hardy's like, I am... Inevitable. <laughs> and he snaps. And he, his picture gets oh, dusted. It's too bad we're still not in the Thunderdome. They could have just had Sammy dust away. Oh, yeah, I know. True. To nothing. Man, I, throw in magic. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, we have an in-ring promo from Charlotte Flair. Charlotte trash talks Becky Lynch. She says, there's nothing natural about Becky. Huh? And to which Becky later tweeted, did Charlotte just say there's nothing natural about me? That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, so, and she yikes. was wearing her prom dress, I think. Uh, yeah, you know, her, right. From, yeah, you know, Charlotte. 1987. Yeah. Charlotte calls herself the star maker because whoever is in the ring with her becomes a star. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then Tony Storm walks out. Where the hell have you been? There oh, she is. She's a star now. <laughs> yeah. And she tells Charlotte, you haven't defended your title since you've been on SmackDown, so accept my challenge. Put your title on the line against me tonight. And then Charlotte says, absolutely not, and leaves. Yeah. Which is the same thing Becky did to Bianca Belair. Yep. Uh-huh. Same thing. Right. So that's creative. Uh, next up, Hit Row shows off. What? what? At, at this point, who's worse? Cody Rhodes or Charlotte Flair? I, co- I, well, fuck. <laughs> I, I, Cody I because Cody. he thinks he's still a face. I would yeah. say Cody, yeah. I mean, we're kind of used to Charlotte Flair by now. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Um. So, yeah, next up, Hit Row shows off their sneakers, and they rap backstage. Mostly them just saying Hit Row. I don't know if that counts as rapping. Yeah. Hit Row. Oh, do you have the audio of them rapping? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Oh, no. Oh, perfect. Hit, hit Row. row. Oh, hit no. Row. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll get them over. Yeah. Just you look at our sneakers and Hit Row. Right. Hey, remember when we had a hot girl in our group? Oh. I wonder if that was Sonya Deville's doing. Oh, yeah, I'm very jealous. <laughs> yes, very jealous. we've created... Oh, man. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Anyways, after that, Jinder Mahal and Shanky rap. Um, oh, no. I apologize. Shanky. Drop them bars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boss. Boss got to get jelly bay not the car. Yes, I'm not both dead to car. Good day, I said, throw up there, that thing. You hop it, who the top there, that thing. What? Is he just taking a shit? Is he sneezing? Is he sneezing? Like, yeah. sneeze. Sounds like he's sneezing. We love our fans. He'll still see for us. Even if you lose, we're here for the drink, the culture, the swag, the dope, and the shoes. Woo! This man was a, was a WWE champion. Yes, said Cringe The WWE champion. He said yeah. the thing we were doing. Cringing. Cringing. Hard. Yeah. Oof. I think I yeah. cracked a tooth. I was, Oof. Yeah. Well, I guess that just by default will get Hit Row over because it's like, hey, at least we're not that. Uh, well, Ice, yeah. Ice, Shanky. Ice, Ice, Shanky. He also called him Slim Shanky. Slim Shanky. I'm sorry, Slim Shanky. Slim <laughs> Shanky. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, spoiler alert on worst moment. All right. Next up, Caleb Braxton interviews Ridge Holland backstage. Uh-huh. There he is. And he still has a hard on for Seamus. Hashtag boners for Seamus. Boners for Seamus. Then Cesaro walks up and says, I've known Seamus for a long time, but his attitude lately, be careful what you wish for. And it's like, hold on, Cesaro. You were with him when you were a heel. Yeah. You were heels, a heel tag team. Together. For like three years. Yeah. Now his attitude? 
Yeah, right. Hasn't he always been a, an asshole? He's, he's well, literally the same person. Cesaro's face woke up. Yeah, huh? As a face. Yeah. So Holland says, I'm going to take your place, Cesaro. Me and Sheamus will be a far more effective tag team than the bar ever was. What? And if you don't like what I'm saying, you can take it up with Sheamus. He'll be here next week. Oh, oh that's great. We're going to have a Cesaro-Sheamus feud again. Oh, boy. What? Good Lord. Oh, or, God, or is it going to be like a Ridge Holland versus Sheamus bet or Cesaro <laughs> best of seven gets the tag with Sheamus? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, and then no. Cesaro wins. And they're just a three man team. And Cesaro wins, yeah. and they form the bar again. Wow. Yeah. And then Pat McAfee has to pretend like Ridge Han wasn't his muscle in NXT. <laughs> I know. I know. God. Right. Right. Good God. <laughs> in a fucking war games match. Like Rich Holland was this big badass. Now he's like, I love Sheamus. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm a fanboy. I was so excited when he won the title when I was uh, two years old. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have the main event, King Woods versus Roman Reigns. Mm. The stipulation to this match uh-huh. was the loser has to take a bended knee to the winner. Oh. And Paul Heyman earlier in the show said if Roman Reigns loses to Xavier Woods. Uh-huh. And does not take a bended knee to him. Uh He will have to forfeit the Universal Championship and be banned from SmackDown forever. Okay. Okay. You know, know, Uh, or or if Woods beats the champion, give Woods the title because he he beat him. Yeah. Imagine beating the champion and then the title goes vacant. Like, wait, uh, yeah, Woods... Yeah, I, I beat him. Can yeah. I have it? No, it's right. vacant now. So let's talk about the match. Reigns gives Woods a nice urinagi slam on the announce table. Nice. In the end, Roman missed a spear. Woods hit the coast-to-coast elbow drop, goes for the pin. But then the Usos pull him out of the ring and beat him up for the DQ. So per cannon. Yeah. Per cannon. Per cannon. Right. He was going to beat Roman Reigns. Yes. I'll take he it. He did. He won by DQ. Well, he won by DQ, but yeah. Clean. Then Reigns gets down on one knee in the middle of the ring, and the Usos put Xavier's crown on Roman's head to end the show while Woods lays outside the ring. So, hmm. I mean, I can't wait for the Universal Championship tournament. Did they right. announce who's in it yet? Well, technically, he did bend his knee. Woods was outside the ring. <laughs> He didn't bend it to Woods. Woods was dead. Yeah. He bent it like to the camera. Bend yeah. the knee means bend to me. Yeah. That's what it fucking means. Right. He didn't bend shit. How does this make any sense? No, yeah. I guess he you know, he crossed his fingers when he when he said it. Maybe that's what they'll do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There you go. One hundred percent. They won't even mention it again. Is he gonna show up with that crown? Or sure. is Woods gonna Why have not? it back? That's a prop. He'll have it back. It's a prop. Yeah. All right, on to Raw. Yeah. Start things off with Big E. He's 100% after being powerbombed on the apron last week, of course. Fucking superhero. You know, it's a powerbomb on the apron. Right. Who right. cares? Power of positivity. Yes. You know, a few years ago, put John Cena out for a while, but, you know, Big yeah. E. Yeah. Yeah. So first, Big E addresses Roman Reigns, saying at Survivor Series, it was supposed to just be champion versus champion, but you put your hands on my family, so now I got to beat your ass like you stole something. I got to make sure there's some empty beds in those Brooklyn hospitals for you. And then he moves on to Kevin Owens. He calls him out. KO comes out. He says, I was being sincere to you, but last week you cost me that match and I snapped. And now everyone is judging me. And for that, you can all go to hell. But I really did like Kevin Owens' uh, promo. So take a listen. You know the saying, perception is reality. Well, because of you, the perception of me is that I'm a scumbag, I'm a liar, I'm a horrible person. You know what? One fight a year, right? I'm a bad guy. Guess what? I will be the bad guy. Everybody thinks I am. Everybody wants me to be. This is exactly how Seth Rollins turned heel. Right, exactly. Remember, it's the yeah. same thing. I'm not, I'm not going to be any old plain bad guy. No, I promise you this. I'm going to be worse. Because, Big E, I'm about to break bad on every single superstar in that locker room. I'm about to break bad on every single person in every arena across the world. And I am especially going to break bad on you. And, Big E, just know this. You deserve it. And because of you, everything that happens from here on out, well, it's your fault. I guess we know what... Kevin Owens has been binging lately. Uh, yeah. He's like, hey, Vince. Uh, Mal- Malcolm in the middle. Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> I just like, saw, saw this new show. It just came out. Uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I was gonna say, "What you gonna do?" And then Vince was Biggie. like, uh, "Where the hell have you been?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Owens walks to the back. Biggie goes after him, but then he's attacked from behind by the Usos. Whoa, uh, uh, yeah, you know why not? The cool. one time a year when the week of SmackDown, yeah. the one month a year where right. Who cares? So Jay Uso tells Big E, Roman Reigns sends his regards. We'll see you at Survivor Series. Jay also says they're going to beat RK Bro at Survivor Series. And then Riddle runs out and makes the save. And then Sony Deville comes out and makes this a tag team match. Okay, okay. So we have Big E and Riddle versus the Usos with Seth Rollins on commentary. Big E throws Jimmy into Seth and then gives Seth a forearm. Big E gets back in the ring and then Seth attacks Riddle for the DQ. And then Seth and Jay team up against Big E and Riddle. But then Randy Orton runs out and gives Jay an RKO. What is happening? So then we have, just like in SmackDown, the brawl. We have Big E and RK mm-hmm. Bro versus Seth Rollins and the Usos. Every week it's the same thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, this starts as a tag match. And then it ends up into a six-man tag. 62 man tag. tag. And then all this, Rollins beats Riddle with a roll-up. Yeah. After all of all that. for that. After the match, the Usos attack Riddle, but then Orton gives Jay another RKO. Poor bastard. Good measure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two RKOs for Jay. And then Big E tells Jay, tell your daddy, message received. That was great. But I got a return message for his ass. And then Big E gives Jay the big, poor Jay. Yeah. Jay got everything. Taking the right. beating. Is he the like, one that got the DUI? No, I don't think. No, it wasn't. Wow. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. <laughs> Later backstage, Orton berates Riddle for once again playing hero. And, uh, you know, please just let Riddle turn heel on Orton. Yes. That's or what like, we really want. Or if, you can, if you're if you not going to do that, let Riddle at least be heel with Orton. Like a heel tag team. Right. Like he yeah. teaches them. Like, yeah, let's go, kid. Let me We're gonna show be you bad the guys. ways of the Viper. Yeah. Yeah. The dark side. So backstage, Sarah Schreiber tells Kevin Owens, you said you would meet Biggie in the ring, but you, you lied. And Owens is like, yeah, I said I was going to be the liar. Were you paying attention? (laughs) And then Finn Balor walks up and tells KO, I'm sorry I wasn't there to vouch for you last week because I would have told you to your face that I don't trust you. It was supposed to be me and Seth tonight, but now the authority... Who are you? Yeah. ...have told me it's me and you. It's like the authority. Adam Pierce is calling himself that. Triple H and Stephanie were hanging around. Jesus, at this point, I think we'll take the authority. Oh, my God. God. Imagine. Imagine that's how bad it is. Yeah. Uh, Come on, Cena. Without hesitation. Yes, please. Can Cena just come out of nowhere and be like, I bring back the authority. (laughs) Yes, he just shows up one day. Thank you. Can we have the authority without Stephanie, though? Ooh. Yeah. So then KO tells Balor, well, that's really too bad for you. And that's no lie. Ba-dum-psh. Ha. Next up, we have Bianca Belair versus Tamina. We got Dewdrop watching backstage with her back to the TV. Mm-hmm. And Belair wins with the KOD. Sure. Then after the match, Dewdrop comes out and tells Belair after Survivor Series, I'll be looking for you. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not like there's any importance to that match, but whatever. Right. Yeah. Next up, we have an in-ring promo from Becky Lynch. Okay. She responds to Charlotte, saying she's going to beat the piss out of her. And it's so obvious that Becky is the baby face in this feud with Charlotte. Uh huh. But then out comes Liv Morgan, and yes. Becky's a heel again. Of course. That's it. So right she, she turned in this segment. She is the epitome yeah. of transfacial. She's the new big show. Yeah. So Liv says, last week you walked away from me, but I'm not going to let that happen again. Becky says, last week I walked away to give you your moment. Lord knows you don't get many of them. Ooh. Ouch. Too real. (laughs) Becky then throws to the big screen, and we see Liv Morgan on Talking Smack four months ago saying, when Becky left, I gave her a hug goodbye, and she whispered in my ear, when I come back, you're going to be champion. Well, now she's back, but I'm still not champion, but I'm going to prove her right. So Becky tells Liv, I'm sorry for getting your hopes up. I didn't know that you'd underperform so badly. The <laughs> truth is, some people have it and some people don't. Yikes. And Liv says, on behalf of the entire WWE universe, I think we could all agree that big-time Bex is really just a big-time bitch. 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> she said bitch. That's got the her. word. We need yeah. like the version of that that's like lame. Like, yeah. <laughs> so Becky goes for the manhandle slam, but Liv counters and arm drags Becky out of the ring. Ripping her hair out. And then yeah. uh, Liv grabs the Raw Women's Championship and holds it up. Bust nut. Yeah. If only. If mm. only. Couple there. Yeah. Next up, we have the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. I mean, I would just okay. how many times have you seen this? Good. Show? Right, right, Good. Right. Chad Gable hit Good Ford match. with a crossbody, uh, and the Street Profits win. All right. Thank you. He, he crossbody him, and then he rolled him up. Nikki Ash versus Queen Zelina is up next. We no, got yeah. Yeah. Chad Gable hits his uh, finisher. Yeah. Street Profits win. We got Nikki Ash versus Queen Zelina with Rhea Ripley and Carmella ringside. Vega won with Code Red. I don't care. Nope. Then we have Rhea Ripley versus Carmella with Nikki Ash and Queen Zelina ringside. Why not just have a tag match? Mm. No, no, no. Because then you can't have this kind of ending. How dare you? Oh, yeah. I think Rhea could still have headbutted Carmella's tits. Oh, wow. And then hit the riptide for the win. I think yeah. they could have done that in well, tag now, match. Well, now one person from each team is one. So what's going to oh, happen? Oh, they're so even. Yeah. So even. So even. Head butted her tits. <laughs> uh, after the match, Vegas says your queen and Carmella will lead Team Raw to victory. Okay. And Nikki will be home with the losers. And then Nikki just stands there and takes it. And, and, and the men's teams are like, Team Captain, bottom right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and then Drew Ripley was like, Vega, I'm not going to let your penis hurt Nikki's feelings. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> That needs to be a, a it, it does. <laughs> permanent. It does. I mean, it's like just to be like. Next up, we have Rhea Ripley. Let's see what she has to say. I mean, it's just yeah. penis, penis, yeah, penis. <laughs> next up, we have Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens in the middle of the show. You know, this this certainly isn't a main event type match, right? This certainly wasn't like some of the best matches in NXT history. Yeah. Right. Uh, backstage before the match, Pierce tells Big E to not interfere in the match. And says, in case you don't think I'm serious, I got two words for you. Suck it. Brock Lesnar. Oh. What? Uh -huh. And I was like, is he going to feast Brock Lesnar on him? Oh, he's going to suspend him like he suspended Brock Lesnar. Oh. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Because that was easy to get, that reference. Right. You know? yeah. yeah. It's like, we, we already forgot you suspended him. Yeah. We, we don't care. They announced on Twitter that Brock Lesnar is going to be buying a ticket to the SmackDown on, like, December 10th or something like that. Oh, so stupid. What? They've already, like, announced it for, like, a month in advance. They're like, hey, Brock Lesnar says he's going to buy a ticket to SmackDown on December 10th. So yeah. why that episode specific? Why not the next? Right. Why not this one? Yeah. Is it in L.A. or something? Or I don't know. Is it in the Chattanooga? middle of nowhere in Canada? Right. 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 <laughs> Where he lives? Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of money. Vince is like, fine, we'll, we'll come to you. Yeah. <laughs> probably probably. A, I, he probably got front row, too. <laughs> There's only like 200 people are going to show up to this event. It's a very small town. Right. Well, it's Brock Lesnar. Come on. It's Brock Lesnar. No, he'll, he'll, he'll be in a suite because he, he doesn't want anyone around him. You're right. Yeah. yeah. He'll have a suite to himself. But uh, Sweet. here's a great example of why I've missed Kevin Owens. Heal uh -huh. Kevin Owens. Right, right. Uh, during the match, he hits Balor with a senton, goes for the pin. Mm -hmm. Balor kicks out at one, and KO yells, that was three! Yeah. His, right at the ref. His self-commentary during the match is it's what amazing. makes it. Yeah. It's amazing. In the end, Balor set up for the coup de gras, but Owens leaned on the top rope to knock Balor down. And then he beat Balor uh -huh. with a stunner. Like, there it is. Not just like a stunner, like a stunner with some oomph. Like yeah. a bad guy stunner. Bad guy stunner. Bad yeah. guy stunner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. So he's still, he's keeping the stunner, I guess. Yeah, sure. Right, whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Next up, we have AJ Styles and Omos versus the Dirty Dogs. Oh, yeah, this one. Backstage before the match, AJ Styles references the first Avengers film. He said, Loki told Iron Man, I have an army. Well, I have an Omos. Mm. Don't do it, AJ. Oh, you didn't like that? Please, right. please don't. And then after that, don't Ziggler and Rude that compare us. AJ and Omos to Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Twins. How dare you That's fair. insult Danny DeVito like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think AJ and Omos have the chemistry that DeVito no, and Schwarzenegger They had. definitely don't. Yeah. Anyways, Omos dominates this match, and then Styles hits Ziggler with the phenomenal forum for the win. I'd also like to point out that AJ Styles is currently not booked 
for Survivor Series. But Austin Theory is. But Austin Theory is. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Oh, good God. I guess they weren't kidding with those rumors about AJ Styles going to a very light schedule. Right. Yeah. Uh, who knew they would keep them together for so long? Oh, I know. Good God. God, it's yeah. almost a year now. Vince is like, oh, Moss is still not ready. When, when do you think he's going to be ready, Vince? Never. He's going to be with AJ Styles. How long do you get retires? <laughs> yeah. How much longer do I have to live? Uh, I'll probably outlive Omos. He's a giant. Yeah. You know, you know how giants are, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good God. I'm like Jesus, but true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, remember the fucking Roddy Piper? Hey, Roddy. Oh, you're in hell. <laughs> Roddy Piper's in hell. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, gee. Yeah. Let's start the Roddy Piper documentary with that. Yeah. Hello, Roddy from hell. Hey, Rod. Uh, just kidding. He's in heaven. Uh, just kidding. I don't believe in any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking dead in the ground. <laughs> Ants ate his body many years ago. Good God. It's a worm buffet. <laughs> okay. uh, earlier backstage, Ray mm. Mysterio whisper yells at Adam Pierce for screwing over his son last week. It's effective. How can you do this? To my son. To my son. Are you a man of your word? Shh. Shh. Are you a man of your word, Pierce? How could you do this to my son? And Pierce tells Ray, stay in your lane. What? And he, uh, yeah, what? what are you, 15? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he says, He's like, I'm not a man? It's like, well, no, no, he said man of your word. I'm not a man? Yeah. <laughs> all right, fuck it. He's like, all right, you have a match with Bobby Lashley tonight. So that's your main event, Stereo yeah. Lashley with Dominic <laughs> ringside. MVP's gone again. Yeah. He just returned last week. I guess, I guess that was too much for him. He was in the graphic. I know. He's yeah. in the graphic for the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, Ray hits the 619 and the Look splash up. off the top rope, but Lashley immediately kicks out and makes Ray tap to the hurt lock. And that's no sell. He just like. That was the shittiest splash. Planked down. <laughs> he just fell on him. He didn't jump. He just like. Eep. I think Lashley He's was. Too. I think Lashley was too close. So Ray was like, okay, idiot, and then just Ray, fell on him. Yeah. But, yeah, Ray taps to the Hurt Lock. The Hurt Lock is so odd. Aw- Every time Lashley puts someone in the Hurt Lock, they tap, and the ref's looking for it, but he can't see it because it's so because he's, he's swinging you around. Right, yeah. And they're trying to tap, and the ref can't fucking see it, so it just takes so long to... It's very awkward. Yeah. But then after the match, Adam Pearce announces that Ray is off the Survivor Series team. And then Austin Theory shows up and gives Dominic the ATL. And then Pierce tells Theory, I like your style. Therefore, replacing Rey Mysterio on Team Raw, Austin Theory. Uh, it's like, again, why does he hate the Mysterios? I don't know. It makes no sense. Right. Maybe it Mustafa Ali sense. was right. Maybe he's racist. Maybe. He must be. He has to be at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all for Raw. Yeah. What'd you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I just love the beginning of that. that <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, let's give some awards. Who did you have for worst dressed? I had Tamina. Oh, I had Tamina. I guess you didn't get the memo that her and Natty aren't a team anymore. Because she's still wearing the same gear from when they're she's team. got like Natalia's cat ears. She's like, yeah, this, this is all that fits me. I had yeah. Charlotte's prom dress. Okay, all right, best dressed. Uh, Liv holding the title. Mm. I mean, yeah, I had Liv Morgan, but Mo, I mean, in that red outfit she had with the red tie, oh. she looked great. Yummy. Bo- bottom right, sweep uh, it for sure. Yeah. Worst yeah. acting. That's easy. Shanky, slim oh, shanky. Right. Fair enough. Well, I had Adam gonna... Pierce. He was on both oh, fucking shows. He was shows. horrible, but yeah. then Shanky he spoke was all over yeah. the show. Yeah, right. Uh, best acting, uh, I had Becky. It's Becky or Kevin Owens. Yeah. I mean, Kevin Owens was great. I had right. Kevin Owens. Becky kind of did like the Kevin Owens thing, like when Liv was teasing, like I'm going to hold up the title. Yeah, like she's like, "Don't do it! Don't you do it!" Right. Yeah, I thought that was great. Yeah. Worst comment. Anything that came out of Shanky's mouth. Ice, I, ice, Shanky. Yeah, I had Shanky beatboxing. You mean this? <laughs> Yeah, that one. Like, okay, Shanky, uh, we're gonna need you to beatbox for this segment. Okay, they didn't even do what ice. Is a beatbox. They didn't even do. Okay, <laughs> he can't do it. He can't fucking do it. Jesus. <laughs> They're like, yeah, that's kind of the joke. Yeah, but it sucks. But that's good shit. Yeah, right. But they didn't okay. even do ice, ice, baby, right? No, they didn't. The song isn't ice, ice, baby, 
Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. That's not how the song goes. It's a remix. Ice, ice, baby. Like, come on now. Yeah. Too cold. Best, uh, best comment. Uh, tell your daddy Roman. I received his message. All right. I just like the tell your daddy. Yeah, I had. A, I will be the bad guy. Everyone wants me to be. Kevin Owens. Yeah, and I know we do. I know Owens yelling that was three at the ref when yep. it kicked out at one. An argument there. Worst match. Six uh, woman tag. Yep. I had Mysterio and Lashley main eventing Raw. Okay. Mm. Super slow mo. Lashley, right? That's what I had. Yep. I had AJ and Omos versus. Because it was just Omos the whole match. True. Just, Very slow. And then best match? Balor Owens. Yeah, maybe Woods Reigns was good. The ending was. Uh, I'll sucky. take Balor Owens just because the yeah. Reigns Woods ending was a cop out. Right. Worst move. Uh, Shanky and Gender's little jig that they did. <laughs> God. I had Ray Splash because what yeah. the fuck was that? Right. I had Gabe Splash off the top ropes because then Ford beat him. Like he splashed him. Yeah. And then Ford freaking pins him. What? Yeah. Best Take move. Uh, I had Owen Stunner because it was like a bad guy stunner. I had Vegas finish her the way it was like almost like a roll up, but like yeah. she did her move off the rope thing. Like, right, right. And I had Woods' elbow drop. Nothing special though this week. There wasn't anything really original. No, right. there wasn't. But I like Woods' elbow drop. Worst moment, I say Shanky, sweep it. Yeah. Sweep it. That's easy. Yeah. There was no 24 7 title stuff this that, week. That so that was my best moment. Yeah. So the best moment. Mahal <laughs> and Shanky were like, we got the award. We got, <laughs> we got <Cup>. this. <clears throat> we're going to win an award this week, Shanky. Yeah. Done. Best moment was no 24 7. That yeah. was your best? Yeah. Sure. I mean, Liv holding up the belt. Because that's the only time she's going to get to do that. Uh, well, yeah. But Either that, that really... or Sammy seeing his, Sammy himself seeing his thing disappear. disappear. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That was good. But not much. Not much. Yeah. All right. Breaking news. So, did you hear about this? You hear about yes, this? I did. Roman Reigns is going to be a guest on The Tonight Show this Wednesday. Okay. He's not the first guest, though. So okay. maybe he's going to be upset about that. Is he going to ask Jimmy Fallon to acknowledge him? He will. He better. I'm going to say yes. Is that on my score Jimmy, sheet? Jimmy got... Uh, didn't he get, like, fake tombstone? Didn't Triple H give his stunt double, like, a spine buster through with the table? Yes. Yeah. So there's a chance so. he does something to a guy in a Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon mask <laughs> or something. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Maybe. Also, Roman Reigns was named a recipient of the Make-A-Wish Chris Gracious Celebrity Wish Granting Award. They need a better name for that award. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I immediately was like, wait, so you mean he could be a heel and still do Make-A-Wishes? More like Break-A-Wish. Someone should have told John Cena. No, no. That he still could have done Make-A-Wishes as a heel. Yeah. That's crazy. So there you go. Also, uh, you remember when Riddle rode a camel to the ring at Saudi Mania? Yeah. Yeah. Well, in an interview with Metro, Riddle said that Randy Orton also wanted to ride a camel to the ring, but Vince McMahon wouldn't let him, saying, Randy, that's not your character, riding a camel. And Orton was like, my character doesn't ride a camel? Yeah, yeah right. Where'd you write that in in my storyline right. 15 years ago? <laughs> right. no, no camels. Riding... Yeah. Animals runs in his family. His wife rides a viper all the time. Hey yo! Oh. Hey yo! Oh. Oh, nice. oh boy! Like sex? <laughs> oh, I get it. Uh, like fucking? Oh, because he's a like fucking. Snake. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I get you with my snake. <laughs> I'm a fucking snake. Yeah. He was my snake. That's like a tentacle porn. Maybe Randy and her into that. Mm. Uh, all right. Also, Sasha Banks recently appeared on Kurt Angle's podcast. Okay. So tell us, Eric. <laughs> no, I don't listen to you that. You don't listen to that? No. There was a Shawn Michaels or podcast. I would definitely listen. Oh, how would that go? Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Undertakers. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. Uh, my guest tonight is Mark Calloway. I don't know who this guy is. I guess we're going to find out about this guy, Mark Calloway. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, it's the oh, they, they they tricked me. It's the Undertaker. <laughs> He's like, who am I? Right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Sasha was on Kurt Angle's pod, and uh, she was asked whether there was any real heat between the WWE and MMA force four horsewomen stables. She said, "I was pissed off that Ronda Rousey could come in, get more money than me, bigger locker room than me, and bring in all these people backstage and get more time than me." I'm like, excuse me, who are you and what do you do? Yeah. 
Besides respecting everything that she's done in the UFC and the fight world when it comes to the squared circle, that's my home. That's why I'm the legit boss, not Ronda Rousey. Banks also said, I don't even know why they called themselves the Four Horsewomen. I was like, thank you so much for being a fan. But that was art creating art second after Ric Flair in WCW. Sure. sure. So she was like basically claiming, well, we were the Four Horsewomen first. Yeah. And they said they were the Four Horsewomen. Right. Even though they weren't in wrestling. Right. Yeah. But I mean, it makes sense for Sasha to feel yeah. this way. Four yeah. horse Especially when you feel you're the best and then a celebrity comes in. Right, right. You know, at least Ronda Ron, Ron was good at it, though. Yeah. She was. She was. And maybe she'll be back one day. Maybe. You got any news? Uh, no, I didn't have anything this week. All right. Well, then on to rumors. All right. Rumors. Kevin Owens wins back the Universal title. Maybe. Balor Club to finally get a second member. Too sweet. Brock Lesnar willingly works a full schedule. No chance. Next year's WrestleMania will be in Saudi Arabia. Confirmed. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer indicated that every wrestler in WWE is underpaid because only about 8% of WWE's total revenue is paid to the wrestlers. Uh, He says Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar are the only wrestlers making $5 million per year, and a couple others make north of $3 million per year. However, he says Vince McMahon thinks many of the wrestlers are overpaid. I've seen all those damn video games you play. Yeah. Those things aren't cheap. Well, I mean, it makes sense. He's firing all of them. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So You know, worth 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah. I'm just the equipment guy. Come on. Right. B-Fat makes 40000 a year? <laughs> exactly. Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give her money the top dollar. Here you go, top dollar. You're going to get her contract. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, also, according to PW Insider... Walter is currently more open to moving to the United States than he was when he first signed with WWE due to changes in his personal life. It seems Walter has split from his wife. NXT UK star Jenny recently posted on uh, an Instagram story of the two of them at dinner. Oh, Jenny. Jenny's pretty cute. Jenny, yeah. yeah. Also... Also, Fightful reported that (laughs) the content creators for Up, Up, Down, Down have stopped producing content because they want Xavier Woods to get a bigger cut financially. Uh, Woods recently confirmed that he sold Up, Up, Down, Down to WWE years ago. By sold, they pushed his head down on the table. (laughs) He stuck a pen in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. But that's our signature. (laughs) Right. If that was the deal that Woods made, then. That's the deal he made. Apparently, he gets nothing from it now, though. Well, like zero. Then he yeah, but if they give him a higher base because of it. But you're right. They, Vince could have been like, oh, that's cute. You made that YouTube channel. <laughs> I want it. Why? why <laughs> give it to me or you're fired. What, what does that million followers mean? Yeah. What is that? Right. But he sold it to him and it was like worth nothing. And now it's huge. So yeah, it is. Everyone's apparently on strike And it's strike weird for because work. like uh, Adam Cole. I mean, you yeah. still see um, Tyler Breeze and Adam Cole still on there. Adam Cole, no, not Adam Cole anymore. Uh, well, I mean, it's they, been a while they still they've... stream games together. Okay, Maybe well, yeah, sure. not through Up, Up, Down, Down. Yeah, no, they haven't been doing much yeah. on Up, Up, uh, Down, Down. This last post is from well, it's a couple hours ago, but he. It's yeah. Like well, but they're not doing they're... any like shows. Yeah, they're not doing their right. YouTube shows. It's just random pictures, it's just of him. posts, because WWE owns those accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Any other rumors? No. Okay. Trivia time? Trivia time. I looked up some weird Survivor Series teams. Okay. okay. So you have to tell me which team did never existed. Ooh. All right. Just All right. random guys like that this. were thrown together. Okay. Uh, we have like a team doink. It was men on a mission and the Bushwhackers all dressed up as doink. But no doink. I remember there was. A doink wasn't on the team. He was not on the team. Wait, what the shit? Wasn't there a team Doink once upon a time? I, that sounds familiar. Okay. Good the other team was the Ascension, the Miz, Stardust, and Bo Dallas. What? The Ascension, the Miz, Stardust, and Bo Dallas? Yep. That was a Survivor Series team? Again, one of these is fake. Jake Roberts, Mark Merrow, Barry Windham, and The Rock. Okay. <laughs> and then finally, there's just weird pairings. Yokozuna, Gold Dust, Vader, and Jimmy Superfly Snuka. I think that 
Holmes. Which of these is fake? The Rock one, The Rock debuted at Survivor Series, so he was on like a weird team. Yeah. You can see that. Stardust and the Ascension. How could that be a Survivor Series team? <clears throat> oh, because before, you know what? It probably was because were the Ascension. There, there was a few Cody years was where there was no brand brand stuff, and there was like multiple random Survivor Series matches. Right. Stardust was with the Ascension for a little bit. Really? Yeah. Oh. He was like the leader of the Ascension. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. So Christ help us. Um, God. Jake Roberts, The Rock. What else? Sorry. Um, Jake Roberts, Mark Merrow, Barry Windham, and The Rock. Barry Windham. Yoko Duna, Goldust, Vader, Jimmy Snooker. The Team Doink, Men on a Mission, and Bushwhackers. Who are Men on a Mission? Uh, uh, what's the big... Uh, you know, the big black eye that was uh, part of the um, Undertaker's group. Viscera? Viscera. Viscera. Oh, yeah, It was yeah, him yeah. and, like, this little version of him. Viscera was dressed as Doink? That's what you're telling me? That's what That's what the trivia question is. We don't know. Nice. That one's so wacky, though. I feel like it could be true. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Um... Um... I'll, what's the last one? Yokozuna... Uh, Yokozuna, and Gold Snooker? Dust, I'll Beta, say that and Snooker. I'll say that. One. I'm gonna say Team Doink. I don't know how it's Team Doink without Doink the Clown. Mm. Well, I'm trying to see if probably it. both got it wrong. Uh, hold on. First of all, uh, the Ascension, the Miz, Stardust, and Bo Dallas was a team called right, Cosmic yeah. Ascension or oh. something like that. Cosmic, well, Cosmic awesome. Ascension was the team. Was Stardust and the okay. Ascension? So they had like their home. Their, yeah. yeah, they were. Okay. They had a and then that's when Dallas. that's when Cody Rhodes was like, uh, "I gotta get the fuck out of here." Yeah, yeah. when The Rock debuted, he was the sole survivor of this team with Jake Roberts, Mark Merrill, the Stalker, the Stalker, who wow. was Barry Windham repackaged for the tenth time. Oh my god! And The Rock. All right. Um, Yokozuna, Goldust, Vader, and Jimmy Snuka never existed. I just put that together. But they all existed during that time. Okay. Okay. Here is the team doing. Oh, my God. Oh, my swackers. God. And that's men on a mission. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, they're in masks. They're not face painted, right? What? That's face paint. Mate. And then the mask is around it. Oh, okay. yeah. God. Dear Lord. <laughs> that's awesome. Look at this. Why? Why? I need context. <laughs> I need, you can't get me. What, look that what Survivor there. Season? Clearly, we might have to recap this Survivor Series. <laughs> Just this match? Yeah. Look. Oh, they were up against they, Bam Bam Bigelow and his team. So they lost, I assume. They I assume. swept they the other team. The, 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 the them, power of clown. The power of clown. <laughs> And just like, never mind. We've yeah. already watched <clears throat> Raw and SmackDown this week. Come yeah. on. Oh, yeah. Bastion Booger and then uh, the old Usos, the Head Shrinkers. Oh, wow. Against the four Doinks. <laughs> no, actually, I'm sorry. That was a different one. That yeah, was that was the it, Doinks. Or actually, there were four different Doinks, but Doink was a part of that yeah. one. Yeah. Anyway. God. Good wow. Tips. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Fan questions. <clears throat> All right. Jake Baker, Push Fire Barry, watching Raw live. Hulu 90 minute version. Skipping it all together and listening to What's Wrong with Wrestling. Well, that's easy. Push that. Of course. Fire watching live. Uh, of course. course. And uh, Barry 90 minute. That was too easy. Yeah. Steven Kochanowski, what is the one change you would make to AEW roster, to the AEW roster to make the product better? Jason Deerham says Kevin Steen. That's not bad. Bottom right. Bottom right. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Um, We're going to find out. Yeah. yeah. In February. The ch- yeah. Make Cody a heel. Right. Amir, with Mania being in Texas, is there a chance Taker shows up, choke slams someone without taking off his coat, pinning them and leaving? Of course. Uh, probably. I wouldn't say pinning him, but he'll, he could come out and choke slam He did that to Styles in Saudi Mania. Yeah. Right. Mike K, WrestleMania Dream Matches, Pushfire Berry. Mm. Jim Cornette versus Vince Russo in three stages of hell. Tuxedo match, street fight, buried alive match. That's one choice. Okay. okay. Triple H, 2006 mustache versus Kenny Omega mustache. Is it just their mustaches? Right. right or is it right. them? With that facial hair. All right. And then uh, eye for an eye, Vader versus Rey Mysterio. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would do it in reverse order. Fire, bury, and push. Did Vader have one eye? Well, I think, you know, obviously he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the eye popped out thing? 
Vader's eye popped out in a match. No. Yes. I don't remember that. His eye, uh, like let's see. for real? <clears throat> yes. Like for real, for real. WWE. <clears throat> oh, no, yeah. I've heard him talk eye. about that. Yeah, yeah. His eye popped out. Oh, his out. eye would pop out all the time. WWE. <laughs> like, and he would have to push Vader, it back in. <laughs> yeah, you, there's, there's, uh, God, oh, there's God. shooting. Do we even want to see this? I don't know if there's this video of it. Yeah, yeah, look. Or it's just like, well, that's video. like <laughs> when it got hit. Jesus. But, yeah. Oh, and then look, he made fun of it when he got into the uh, 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 Hall of Fame. I would push Cornette oh, and Russo. So gross. I would totally push You'd Cornette push versus two Russo. non wrestlers. Yeah. Well, yeah. In a real mat, a real fight. In a re- <laughs> Cornette's like, I hope Vince Russo dies before me so I can piss on his fucking yeah. grave. Yeah. They hate each For other. Sure. So then nice. Omega, Triple H, and then Vader, Mysterio. Yep. Yeah. Zaheen Rahman, you said you'd stop reviewing NXT if Braun Breaker wins the NXT title. What is go- what's it going to take to stop reviewing Raw? Mm, well, uh, this is the podcast, unfortunately. Br- Braun Breaker winning the title. Uh, what us, would it winning, take? us winning the lotto. It would yeah. take yeah. Hollywood hogwash um, getting 100,000 downloads per episode. There you go. <laughs> there, there's an answer, and that's it. Chris Chubb, who is on your Mount Rushmore of wrestlers mm. who never won the main one? And then Cooper, the super duper pooper scooper, told him to check out the uh, wrestlers who never won the big one bracket. And that's correct. It's on there. Yeah, it's on there. I guess we won't give it away since it's a pay per view. Correct. Roll up connoisseur, worst pie face, baby face match endings. Being distracted by music, almost running into a female but stopping, or a heel manager distraction by yelling from the apron. The worst ones. Which is the worst? I think the worst is the music playing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but that's like a... Like if music kicks, you're going to be like, what was that? Yeah. But like, I don't know. At least the female's like, I don't want to hurt you. And then the heel manager. Right. At least it's a but heel like manager. But like if the music no, hits, true. it's like, okay, someone's coming down there. But if they hit me, I win. Right. So, yeah, true. Fair enough. <clears throat> Jason Deerham was Von Wagner trained by Batista. He's got that Drax invisibility trick worked out. Oh, yeah. Standing next to Adam Pierce and Sonya Deville for that whole segment, and they never acknowledged him or even looked at him. Yeah. yeah. Where are you? He's standing so still. Chris Dibburn, my hometown angels just got Noah Syndergaard. Is that true? Wait, what? Yeah. I didn't even... Really? Is he actually made of glass like Tegan Knox, or can we count on him for 30-plus starts? Well, I guess he's we don't have class. to. I guess we don't have to worry about him not playing anymore. Yeah. Sports Center said that he's accepting an offer. I don't know if it's official. Official. Twenty-one but, million. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't yeah. realize the pre agency would start already. I guess well. they didn't care to keep him. Stone Cold Savage. You know how Edge makes Randy Orton a better wrestler slash storyteller. Uh, why the fuck can't Randy Orton do that for other wrestlers? I can't watch this shit. Well, Randy Orton. It's like when he's on, he's fucking on. When he's not. He's right. terrible. Yeah. Chris Not Cole, with the way WWE is releasing talent, are they going to have enough people for the Rumble? I think they're getting close. Yeah. Getting pretty close. Almost. Now. Can't wait for that 24 man Rumble. Yeah. Uh, Ice Ice Shanky. Oh, Jesus. Push fire, push fire, watch while baked, Barry. So push fire, watch Barry. 90 minute concert edition. Okay. So Heath Slater, okay. Jillian Hall. Ice Ice Shanky, Robert Stone singing WWE theme songs. What? Pass. Oof. <laughs> that's very complicated. <laughs> that, that's really complicated. Simplify your, uh, your question, please. Max Moon's over my slam. I don't know. Slammy. Slammy? Yeah. Moon's oh, over yeah, my right. hammy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Denny's. So Adam Pierce is backstage holding his phone like he forgot to take the hanger out of his suit jacket. And Ray comes up to him. Pierce says, you're frustrated. I could see it on your face. Ray's mask covers 93% of his face. <laughs> 93, I like that yeah. percentage. Right. Uh, Cooper, Jinder and Shanky, what the fuck? Who the fuck writes this shit? Uh, then they lock hands, tap each other's heels like grade three schoolgirls doing some bullshit. Patty cake, what the fuck is this shit? Seems to be a running theme this week. Yeah. Victor Castillo, do you believe that the women's division has lost most of the momentum since the women's revolution began? If so, what moment do you think was the beginning of its downfall. Probably bringing Eva Marie back. Yeah. Letting the Bellas claim responsibility for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. There you go. That's yeah. all for fan questions. So it is time for Survivor Series. Predictions. Predictions. We got yep. six matches. Please don't add any more. 
Please. This is great. We'll Please. probably add some Battle Royal for the pre-show, but <clears throat> that yeah. The Miz will win again. Right. He'll come back. All right. Women's Survivor Series match. Team mm. Raw versus Team SmackDown. Okay. Who do you got? Uh, I've got Team SmackDown. Same. All right. I've got Raw. All right. Uh, who is the fifth woman for Sma- the fifth woman for SmackDown? I put Tony Storm. Me too. I put Sonya. Ah, oh, that's, that's smart. I man. put Tony Storm just because it seems like she's going to feed with Charlotte, so they might want to maybe put showcase her. On the team. her. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Uh, first superstar eliminated. Uh, Natalia. She's never gone first though. Yeah, yeah. she should be. Should be. I have Carmella. Okay. I have Carmella. All right. Who has the most eliminations? Sasha. I'm going Bel Air. I'm going Bel Air. Uh, who makes the final fall? I'm going all in on Sonya. Sasha. Oh, man. I have Liv. Uh, who takes the final fall? I have Bianca. Bianca. I have Shayna. Yeah. Any <clears throat> DQs or countouts? Yes. I'm going to say no. I have yes. And is there a sole survivor? No. I'm going to say no as well. I'm going to say yes. Okay. All right. All right on to... Oh, pretty different. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Good. There's so much randomness complete... in this, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, men's Survivor Series match... Raw or SmackDown? I've got Raw. I have SmackDown. I have SmackDown. Okay. Uh, who's the fifth man for Team SmackDown? Uh, Sheamus. How dare you? I have Sheamus as well. He's really? going to be there next week. Yeah. But like on the show, not on Survivor Series. Yeah, Space. and they'll add him to the team. Hey, Sheamus. I have. It's Sheamus. I say Sheamus. I'll have, oh, because SmackDown's before yeah. the, yeah. I have Elias. Bottom right. Oh, God. Elias. <laughs> Elias. Where the hell have you been? I yeah, know, I just was like, oh, maybe he'll come back. Who knows? Okay. Uh, first superstar eliminated. I've got Jeff Hardy. That's, Me, prob- that's probably right. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I put Theory, but it's probably Hardy. Yeah. Uh, who has the most eliminations? Drew. 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 Yeah. Who makes the final fall? Drew. Seth. Drew. Yeah. Who takes the final fall? Seth. Woods. Uh, <laughs> I thought you'd say Drew. Seth. <laughs> yeah. Any DQs or countouts? Yes. Uh, no. I have yes, and is there a sole survivor? Drew. I put yes. Yes, Drew. I went all in on Drew. You went all in on Seth. You're Uh, you're way up in on Drew. Yeah. It's got to be Drew, because he's going to feed with Roman next. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a day. Since a year, when they fought a year ago on Survivor Series. I mean, the Raw team, men's team, is all heels. I mean, how do they not win? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, champions versus champions. RK Bro versus the Usos. Add the Usos with a pin. I do too. Yeah, me too. I have Jay pinning Riddle. Same. I've got Jimmy pinning Riddle. You idiot. I know. <laughs> Fuck me, right? <laughs> Jay just got destroyed. He's got to get the win here. Yeah. yeah. How many? Does people- he though? Yeah, yeah, like they know the difference. Yeah. Uh, how many people interfere? Zero. 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 Champion versus champion. United States champion Damian Priest, who wasn't on Raw again. Yeah. yeah. Versus IC champ, Shinsuke Nakamura. I have who gives a shit, Eric? I got Priest. Yeah, yeah priest. of course it's Priest. Yeah. With a pin? With, with a pin. Pin. How many people interfere? One. One? I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, I have one. Boogs yeah. will play his guitar. And Boogs. be like, hey, fuck you. And the music distraction. <laughs> yeah. Distract and the music, Nakamura. It'll distract Nakamura. Yeah. yeah. Does Nakamura hit the Kinshasa? I put no. I put no. No. They protect that pretty good. Yeah. All uh, right, Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch versus SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair. I've only done this a couple of times, and my prediction passed, uh-huh. and I nailed it. All right, the last time, last two times, I think I did it. Yeah, I'm putting no one, like no contest, like a yeah. double DQ. double DQ. They can't put double anyone count over out. Here. Okay, yeah, there's no all right. chance. I put Flair. We all have something different. I have Becky. All right, cool. I have Becky with a pin. Uh, I've got Flair with a pin. I obviously have other. All right. How many people interfere? Two. Zero. I put two run-ins so that, you know, it's a big mess. Right. And uh, does the winner hold up both belts? I put no. I put no because I don't have a winner. I'm going to say yes. Because you got Becky winning. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, right. I, I'm just, I'm hoping, with the whole story of their actual, like, you know, where Charlotte went into business for herself. And right, Becky right. was supposed to hold up both belts. Mm-hmm. I think no, Becky we'll wins, it. and then she's like, fuck you, I'm holding up both belts, bitch. Yeah. If someone's going to win, it's going to be definitely Becky because of that. Yeah, to say fuck off, Charlotte. I mean, but it's also Charlotte. Never bet against Charlotte. I I'm, I'm, I'm also agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get it. Like, I see her winning with, like, a fucking roll-up or something. Yeah. But still, Becky still hasn't lost in, like, what, two years or whatever it is? Yeah. Like, right. over two years. Right, right. Uh, and then we got the WWE champion Big E versus Universal champion Roman Reigns. Uh, Roman Reigns. I got Roman. With a pin. 
I got a submission. I have Roman with a pin. How many people interfere? I have one. Dose. I have three. Oh, wow. Well. Who's the third? I don't maybe know. Maybe Woods. Kofi comes back. Yeah. Or no, Woods. Yeah, yeah Woods. Woods. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, And then uh, does Biggie kick out of a spear? I'm going to say y- yes. Yeah, I'm going to say yes, yes as well. I think they'll give him that. Yeah. It's a spear. You got to give him something. Right. Yeah, anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, surprise appearance? I put no one. I didn't want to double down on Elias because that's just a random guess. So I'm going to say The Undertaker comes out and they announce him for the Hall of Fame. Because this Survivor Series where he debuted yeah, okay. all this. All right. I, I have Brock Lesnar. Yeah, okay. Sure. No, I'm not. I put he already bought a no, ticket I, I for that SmackDown, <laughs> idiot. No, I didn't. I put, I put Asuka. She's been gone for a while. True. Yeah, right, Maybe right. she comes back. And she she's posts the... like every day. I follow her for some reason. She, does. she posts yeah. all the time. Yeah. She has an injured hand for jacking me off. Uh, what's the opening match? Pre-show wow. doesn't count. Tag team. I got Priest. Priest shows. Yeah. I got Priest versus Shin. Yeah. I have the women's Survivor Series match. Okay. All right. Main event. Men's. Uh, men's. Survivor, Men's Survivor Series? Series? Yeah. yeah. All right. I put Reigns, Big E. Right. Oh, yeah. Lock of the Century. Roman. Roman. I put Priest. Okay. I thought we were doing the you can't pick it anymore. I haven't picked Reigns. Nah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Are I'm, we? I'm Are sure we? Priest will win. Yeah. yeah. And what brand wins the night? It's SmackDown. Be SmackDown. Yeah, I put SmackDown. Okay. I actually have them tying in these matches, but I'm sure the Battle Royal will. Right. Last Something minute stupid. Battle Royal will but make you, that. You have Raw. No, that's SmackDown. Raw. Oh, I'm sorry. SmackDown, SmackDown. Right, right. SmackDown. Sm- oh, there, there you yeah. go. Yeah. And SmackDown with Flair. Oh, right. Right, right. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, Raw, usually, Raw usually wins. So. Yeah, but. But they usually SmackDown's win. like, hey, right. they haven't won in forever, hey. like years. Right. Right? Hey, Fox is like, hey, we want to win because that'll that won't help the ratings, but maybe it will. Yeah, but it won't. Just gotta let them win one of them. So. We want one too. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Give us a five star review. Check out our official website, What's Wrong with Wrestling dot com. Like the show on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wrong Wrestling. Get a T shirt at ProWrestlingTees dot com slash What's Wrong with Wrestling. Only nineteen ninety nine, and become a supporter of the show at patreon.com slash what's wrong with what's wrong with wrestling. Five dollars a month gets you everything. It'll get you the Survivor Series recap this Sunday night. You making Uber Eatos, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. And also subscribe to our new podcast, Hollywood Hogwash, available anywhere podcasts are heard. Uh, the new one's out this week. We reviewed Red Notice. Red starring Notice. The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot. Pretty good movie. I mean, it's fun. Fun, it's silly fun. movie. It's horrible three funs. Plot, but yeah. <laughs> had three funs. Three, it was three, okay. three funs. funs. Ryan Reynolds was I had, very funny. I would put a fun. A fun. Next three, week, no three funds up. Yeah. Next week's episode, we'll be reviewing uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Ooh, which starring is. the sexiest man. Alive. Yeah. He's 52, Earth. and he's the sexiest man. He, he said he was going to get business cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he should. I All right. He is sexy. We'll see you after Survivor Series. Josh, he's 
just a troll.